pipeline from Nigeria to Europe is nearing completion. The critical part is to connect it to Ola Igbo, specifically Imo State, that has about the biggest gas deposits in the world. Buhari signed the gas away as collateral for loan and used the money partly to develop other parts of Nigeria and partly to fund Fulani herds to prepare them for full-scale invasion and take over of Nigeria without investing any of the money in Igbo land where the gas is. To connect the pipeline to the primary source in Igbo land and continue to cheat them of their resource is not going to be easy. So the plan is to destabilize the region. It's been long in the making. This is an agreement with major Western powers. The first phase, flooding the region with killer herdsmen and killing young men of the region by mercenaries of one bloated militant, have had limited success. The second phase has just been tested, flooding the region with herdsmen in the guise and in the midst of IDP. Very soon, the Igbo will be painted in orchestrated write-ups all over the world as people unwelcoming to refugees and IDP. There will then be a massacre of IDP by the same planners, and it will be blamed on the Igbo, paving the way for full-scale military invasion. The refusal to release Mazi Namdikanu is part of it, and if he is released, he would be assassinated either by the gun to be blamed on rival pro-Biafran groups or by the slow poison they have been administering on him. Both Britain and the US are part of this plan, and they are not ready to let up. It all boils down to the resource called gas. They must have it by all means as an alternative to the Russian gas that has become a problem to them. They know that the Igbo are no pushover, hence the systematic weakening of Igbo cohesion and the grand plan. For such a plan to succeed, a high-level insider is needed. That is where a Southeast governor is playing his inglorious part. Hope Uzodima is judicially imposed on his state, and he knows that once his term finishes, he cannot step foot into his state, even into his village where he has massacred several people. This governor is the one facilitating everything. He paved the way for Buhari to start the plan, and he has continued with the present federal government. He will be rewarded with a relocation to the UK or to any other European city of his choice. And Bola Ahmed Tinubu. This is the most strategic politician to come out of Nigeria. He is positioning the Yoruba. Once the war starts in the southeast, the north will depend on him and his people for the continuation of any semblance of Nigeria. The north needs an outlet to the sea. They need Nigeria, in whatever form. Whether Nigeria survives in any form or not, the Yoruba would be strengthened by taking over the spaces both in the literal and other sense vacated by the Igbo. This is what the Yoruba did in the first war. Now the stakes are higher, the price is huger, and the eyes are more opened. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is using Mazi Namdi Kanu to play the political chess, and all these are related. Know this as a given. Thank you for- <coughs> I believe all of you listening to it. I'm not the one who is saying it. Now, what do I have to say again? I don't have any word to say because when we are telling you that the time for us to rise up is now, most of the Igbos who believe in one Nigeria don't know the kind of damage they are bringing to our people. The more you protect one Nigeria, the more the, we the Igbos, the more the Biafrans are still with one Nigeria, the more the life of our unborn children will be mortgaged. The more hardship we bring to our unborn children, our own is set, is, they have already signed and sailed our own hardship. They are now thinking about our future generation, our hundred generation to come, how to mortgage it, and they are succeeding. The, the, we, we keep on allowing 0.001% to mortgage the life of over 70 million people because we think that in a day we will be able to elect somebody that will now speak for us. Ordinary only hope who has not only mortgaged the entire Imo state but also has mortgaged, mortgaged the entire Alibo. We are still holding hands. The more they keep mazen and the canoe, the more we go down. Imagine pipeline from Alibo to, to, to Europe 
Do you know how many thousands of kilometers those pipelines pass? And yet, we don't have anything. We don't have seaport. We don't have international working airport. We don't have any federal government infrastructure. The only thing that Alibo is good of is IDP camp, where they will bring in the Fulani foot soldiers that we make sure that our people will not have rest morning, afternoon, and night. Yet, we think all is well. Yet, we think nothing is going on, that God will one day remember us. God cannot remember you until you remember yourself. I don't have much to say because I feel bitter and I share tears that in my own time, I watch the, our own people their lives and the life of our, our unborn children be mortgaged. If you are Buhari, Tinubu, or from the north, will you give a fuck of the life of the Imolite? No. They, they use the gas, the natural resources found in Imo, they use it to borrow money and build the runway in Niger Republic, develop uh, south, uh, uh, the north and uh, some part of the Yorubas. Why we are still hoping that one day it will be better. The earlier Ndi will rise up and the tell Mr. Pito will be never to come out again to contest for anything presidency and they want every Igbo man not to contest and we must make our decision. If not, I pity our people. Don't think about me. I am in Europe and my children are European citizens. They have already a bright future. I have secured their future. Think about you that don't even international passport. You cannot even talk about traveling out. Think about the future of your children. Is this how you are going to continue? If you like, pay attention to, the, to all these things. If you like, don't pay attention. I don't have much to say. But the earlier the Igbos rise up to define what they want, he said that we want Biafra and we will fight for it, or we go for one Nigeria and we perish on it. No two ways about it. We cannot get Igbo presidency at the same time get Biafra presidency, uh, Biafra nation. He said that we get the Biafra nation and deliberate ourselves and they have a future, or we go for Igbo presidency and failed one million times, and at the end of the day, we will perish. We will lose everything. Everything will be perished. Everything will be just gone for good. But many of you don't understand this. I don't have much to say. Pipeline from Imo to Europe. Almost in completion. In other words, the British will now be enjoying what you have in your land. And you will see a bingo. An idiot carrying AK-47 to flog Nepal person. Or to flog an individual who is driving Kekena Pep, say you are not obeying. Instead of you to go where those pipe is and they destroy them, you cannot do it. Only to flog uh, uh, armless women and and the uh, armless our uh, uh, youth. You you will not be buga. Woto woto is the code that woto 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 your life. I remember my humble self, M A P Ezioko Bundo. Share the video and stay tuned for more videos. I have done my part. If you like, wake up. If you like, don't wake up. That is your own cup of tea. Almost here, Biafra. Almost here, Mazin and the gang. Almost here, M-O-A-P. It's your Kubundo. One. God bless you.